Bonjour friends and happy French Friday to you. Okay, so we are in Denham Springs, Louisiana today. And I shared a shop over here with you a little while back called the Rusty Rooster. And I thought it would be fun to come back and share and uh, feature a different shop this time. And it is called Rescued Revisions. And I've gotten permission from the owner to uh, video today. And so I thought it would be fun to share another shop over here with you since you all seem to enjoy the Rusty Rooster so much. And so I'm excited to share Rescued Revisions with you today. And uh, I thought also we had a um, home inspection today. So I thought this would be the perfect day to come over and do this because we had to leave the house anyway and be gone for several hours. So I wasn't sure um, now that our home is sold, things are gonna get crazy busy. So I thought today would be the perfect day to come over and do this. And so I hope you enjoy. And it's a little bit cloudy and a little bit rainy today. So forgive my hair, it's a hat day because it is you know, a hot mess when my hair wants to go frizzy when it rains. I don't know about um, your guys' hair if it does that in the rain or not. But uh, so, got my hat on and I'm grab my mask and uh, we'll be ready to go. So let's go check it out, shall we? I just want to mention that the owner Rivers had booth spaces and shops while he was still in high school. In fact, he had a booth in the same shop as I did. He had a goal to open up his own shop when he turned 18 and of course he reached that goal. And he is such a hardworking and talented young man. As you enter the front of the store, this is where Rivers sells his antiques, and in the back of the store he rents out booth spaces to other antique dealers. to get a shot of the ceiling in the shop for you because I just love these old ceiling tin tiles.
Okay friends, I am back home now from Rescued Revisions and I thought I would just share with you real quick the few items that I picked up while I was there. Okay, so for the first item, it is this cute little copper bowl and this was uh, $7.99 and when I first looked at it, I was thinking it would be really cute to put hand soap or dish soap or like a dish sponge in it or something and put it next to my sink. And so that one fit perfectly in there and I thought that looked really cute. And then as I got looking at this a little bit closer in the store, I noticed on the other side that it had this little brass spinning wheel on it. It also has a cute little brass feet, which I thought were really sweet. And so then I thought, well, something like this might be really cute sitting down inside of it. Or I also have a smaller one with scissors that would be cute sitting down inside of it as well. So let me know what you think. Uh, what, what do you think looks best inside of this little copper bowl? Okay, so then the next item I picked up was this cute little ironstone uh, pitcher. And it's a little small size like for uh, like a creamer size. And you guys know that I love my ironstone dishes. I can never pass up these ironstone pitchers, whether they be large or small. And this one was such a great price. It was only $4 for it. So uh, I picked that up, snatched it up right away. I also picked up this paint while I was there because I've never tried this paint before. And so I'm just really curious how I'm going to like it and I'm very excited about trying it out. It is fusion mineral paint in the French eggshell color and I just thought this color was so pretty. You know, I love my neutral colors, but um, for a color, this uh, is such a pretty color, I thought. And it reminds me of the, I think it was duck egg blue that I used before in the um, Annie, I believe it was Annie Sloan chalk paint. But this color reminds me of that color, of that duck egg blue. And I just thought um, this was so pretty. So I am very excited to try it. Of course, um, it helped that the name was French Eggshell. You know, I can't resist anything French. And uh, so yeah, I'm very excited to try this new paint out. I um, also picked up this flyer that, um, talks about the paint and I was noticing inside of here it also has a different color paint sample so that's nice and um, so lots it comes in lots of different colors and I was noticing though that it says built-in top coat so uh, you do not have to no need for additional top coat on this of course if you wanted to you could um, if it was going to be an area that was being used a lot like a top of a desk or something like that. You may want to do an extra top coat, but it's nice to know that this does not require any extra top coat. And so it says built in top coat and easy to apply, excellent coverage. It is a matte finish and uh, exceptional uh, adhesion and durability, ideal for furniture, cabinetry, inside or out. So you guys know that I'm always doing painting and doing different projects. So Yes, I'm very excited about this, can you tell? <laughs> so I'll probably be using this on my next project I share with you. Okay, make sure you check out Rescue Revisions if you haven't already, and tell them I sent you it's worth spending the day in the antique village or make a weekend trip of it. Thanks so much for stopping by today, and a big thank you to Rivers for letting me video and share the shop with you. I appreciate it so much. And if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit that notifications bell to get notified each and every time I upload a new video. Come back and see me next French Friday. Au revoir.